Hello and welcome to Roadmap 2019. On this program, we talk to some of the major stakeholders in Nigeria's journey to the elections of 2019. I am Ladi Akiri Dunduale. Thanks for joining us. On today's program, my guest is a well-known advocate of governance for development, a scholar, entrepreneur, and politician. He says Nigeria is at the crossroads between continuing down the wrong path or choosing leaders who have in the past demonstrated an ability to channel the country's immense potentials for dynamic and positive growth. He also wants more people to get involved in politics in order to improve the quality of the process. Please join us as we speak to the former presidential aspirant and founder of the Center for Values in Leadership, Professor Patrick Utomi. So, Tommy, thank you so much for agreeing to speak with us. Pleasure. Um, I guess the last time you, uh, uh, we were on this program, at that time it was uh, Roadmap 2007. Now, 12 years down the line, we're talking Roadmap 2019. Overall, the democracy that we have, it's almost two decades old now. Do you see incremental progress? Are we making any kind of progress? Because if you read the newspapers, maybe you come away with the impression that we're not making any progress. Are we making any progress? Well, uh, you know, in human exploits, um, you will have movement. Sometimes a little forward movement, sometimes some regressing. Uh, our country has been referred to as recursive, two steps forwards, four steps backwards. Uh, you can plot a recursive economy. You can plot a recursive political culture. Uh, when we were returning to democracy, uh, Michael Bratton and, and his team working on the Afro barometer, you know, had some fascinating numbers about how excited Nigerians were about democracy, uh, how excited they were about democracy, and how. Uh, um, they wanted this, that, that. A couple of years later, Nigerians almost had had enough of democracy <laughs> in, in the baro Afrobarometer uh, 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 readings. Uh, but overall, one has to say that there's been some progress. It's sometimes hard to see. Look, the legislature, for example, has been part of the big albatross of this process, in my view. Uh, but if you listen more clearly, more closely, you will begin to find that legislators, begin, some of them, not many of them, a few are beginning to get a hang for what this process really means. Uh, so in that sense, there, there is some progress. But in many ways, you almost feel like despair when you think of where we could be. Uh, so it's a mixed bag. Uh, and the question is what and what and what do we need to do uh, to continue to make the process work for the Nigerian people? Nothing, nothing is really more important in trying to look at how people make progress than how the public sphere evolves. I, I am a great, great admirer of uh, the leading contemporary German philosopher, Jürgen Hebermas, whose work is around the public sphere. What is democracy really? What are the things that make democracy work for human progress? And, and, and when I think of some of the things that he emphasizes and how our democracy is so way off the track, I sometimes wonder, do we need the good Lord himself to come down here and do something? <laughs> well, that, your Possibly one could call it disappointment to a large extent is palpable. And but you're not the only one. There seems to be quite well, there seems to be quite a number of people who are quite disappointed in the progress that we have recorded. And some of those people have talked about the, the need to introduce a new dynamic. Now some have decided to call that new dynamic the third force. Third force being that 
Right now, we're running at almost essentially a two-party system. It's either you're in the PDP or you're in the APC. In theory, we have 68, as at now, political parties. But I mean, basically, we're talking of PDP and APC. So a third force, where newer minds, younger minds, and all that can be brought together to create some critical mass to move. At this point, is that, is that the kind of thing you had in mind when you said, what do we need to do? Is that part of it? Well, I think the biggest challenge for the political process is citizenship, citizen engagement, participation. Because let us be honest, we have not had a democracy. You can say whatever you like. It's not a democracy. Most people know that the results are written by some fellows in some corner. Uh, most people know that as much as possible, citizens, real citizens, are discouraged from even thinking about voting. And that the people who play this power game look for some poor, hapless people who don't even know what they are doing to collect a few hundred naira and cast a vote. And they will then extend whatever they've cast in some doctoring and call it election outcomes. So citizen participation has made our democracy really untenable as a democracy, the absence of citizen participation. And part of what some of us thought was that it's becoming obvious that what government does affects your life. You know, many Nigerians, especially people of some means, means or education and all of that, think, ah, let them go, I can survive. I already survived yes, on my own. I, I can buy my, my four-wheel drive to go over the bad roads. I can, you know, that kind of stuff. But it's becoming very obvious to them that these things are affecting their lives. So they're getting, why don't you mobilize this passion and create a true democracy by bringing those kinds of people in their millions into citizenship in terms of engaging in the public sphere in a variety of ways. Primary one being educating people and casting that vote. And so some of us thought we need a social movement a movement to bring these people into a certain commitment to the process and saying to them, you can go into any of the parties that you want, seek to change it. Because we don't have political parties in Nigeria. I belong to one, and I can tell you, we do not have political parties in Nigeria. I mean, at the start of this whole process, as part of the work I did to get the opposition going, uh, I was invited to give a lecture, a leadership newspapers, annual lecture, from several years ago on political parties. I remember that lecture. Uh, most of the people who are in the current leadership who were in opposition then were at that lecture, uh, the Ladikwali Hall in Abuja. And I went through from Robert Michel's 1911 book on political parties and what political parties, and I went on and on and on. In fact, uh, 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 Mr. Muka, Sama Muka, who was there, when I finished, he said to me, I didn't know you were so deep. 